Okay, so back with part two. So I had another one I had on pre-order um, for a few weeks, and this is from 88 Films, and this is a film I've always heard about. I've heard it. I think it was it was like one of the most glorious martial arts films like ever. And um, so I went, on pre went ahead and pre-ordered it straight away. And I think it might be out of print now. I'm not too sure. But this is based off a manga, I think it is. Japanese manga comic. And this is the cinematic adaptation of Ricky O, the story of Ricky. Watched this a few days ago and I thought it was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Um, just just absolutely crazy this film is yeah um as to for gory it's it is very gory especially like some of the death scenes it's just like out completely out there but i enjoy the i mean the most gory scene is probably the end scene um i won't spoil it but it it's in a, a mincer that's all I'll say but yeah I thought this was great just laugh out loud to this night like, and yeah Ricky O I recommend this if you're into martial arts films if you're into like really gory martial arts films uh, yeah this is really nice set as well so it's limited edition as well so Then I I ordered a couple of Criterion's and an indicator release. First up from Criterion, spine number eight eight eight, and this is directed by Andrei Tarkovsky, and this is Stalker, a film I've never seen but read up on it and heard about it. And I think this, um, I don't know whether it, yeah, yep, this was his, his last feature, I think it was, and he died of, I think it was cancer, I think it was, but I think, I think he, he picked up cancer during the making of the film or something like that, because they filmed it at near, a nuclear power plant or something like that so that's that's all I know about it but it's a stalker and then I picked up spine number 826 and this is directed by Terence Malick and this is the new world in this really nice like digi pack Dig digi pack and this is about the um, to do with Pocahontas. Yeah, and it's got Colin Farrell in it as well, so never seen this film. So this is the new world. I, I love the artwork on this, it's like a, a painting. So, yeah. Then from Indicator, and uh, this is a new release starring Peter Cushing and Sue Lloyd, and this is Corruption. I think what drew me to this was Peter Cushing. Big fan of Peter Cushing's work. And yeah, I'm trying to get as many like Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Boris Karloff, uh, Bella Lugosi, Vincent Price, just any of those guys' work. I'll gladly collect. So there's corruption. And as you can see, there's loads of features there. And I've got num limited edition number 1607 out of 5,000. So that's corruption. I know it's something to do with a plastic surgeon or something like that. That's all I know. Then I went to HMV and I went into HMV and had a look at what they got. Actually, First up, I'll show you what I pre-ordered from Eureka, and this is a martial arts film, and they the what they say about this film is that it's probably one of the best 
sword fighting sword fighting martial arts films ever made so I'm looking forward to seeing if that's true but this is from Eureka and this is Duel to the Death Duel to the Death with this really nice slip cover and this is limited we've got a limited edition slip case with artwork from Darren Wheeling so that's Duel to the Death I mean, quite my collection of like martial arts films is really building up now. So I'm currently watching um, the Zatoichi Blind Swordsman box set, the Criterion set, and I'm on film number ten because there's 25 films in that se in that series, and I'm really enjoying them. They seem to be getting better as they go along. And I watched um, Long Wolf and Cub, the Long Wolf and Cub box set. Not too long ago, and I and I thought that was fantastic. So, really enjoying the martial arts releases that I'm picking up. But anyway, this is um, this is a release from Medium Rare, and this is a limited edition box set. I saw this in Cinemaniac Seven Seven uh, Donny's uh, video. Um, quite a while ago, I think it was. But this is a film which stars Rod Steiger, also got Christopher Plummer, Orson Welles, Jack Hawkins, Virginia McKenna, and a big cast in this. But this is Waterloo in this really nice box set. So I will be looking forward to watching this when I get the chance. Then another Criterion, um, a new release, and this is Fire Walk With Me the, from Twin Peaks. So this is the, um, the spin-off film, and it's the prequel to the TV series. So yeah, I've watched this twice now. Uh, th so this goes through and takes place before the events of the tw uh, events of Twin Peaks, the, the TV series, and it tells you what happened to Laura Palmer and how she died and who killed her. So yeah, it's, it's, it's basically uh, uh, this is in the um, in the Blu-ray box set already, but I wanted to get the actual. The actual movie so yeah fantastic big fan of Twin Peaks and I've got I've got Twin Peaks I've got the limited edition a new series and I've got this now so quite up on Twin Peaks now so then um, this is a new release from Arrow video and this is a Jap Japanese film and this is, I've not seen this film before, I've not even heard of it but anything Japanese horror I'm into this is uh, The Snake Girl and The Silver Haired Witch I know this is 1960s I think it is 1968 and the slip cover on this is really nice, it's like a a rubber feel to it and then like it's a like shiny bit shiny feel here so yeah that's a new release from Arrow okay we're coming to the last two and the last two are Arrow video releases so this is a release by directed by Sam Peckinpah and I think that this would have got released by Arrow Academy, but Arrow Academy don't do, aren't releasing new Blu-rays anymore. They've joined up with Arrow Video, so anything that Arrow Academy were going to do, it's going to go for Arrow Video now. So this is Major Dundee, John Eston, Richard Harris, um, James Corbin, yeah, and it's really nice box set loads of features 
And again, I've not watched this film before, so... Yeah, Major de Dundee. Looking forward to watching this. And then finally, we've got a box set, a new release. This, this, this arrived today. And uh, this is Stephen King's Children of the Corn. This is the trilogy. So I've seen the I've seen the first Children of the Corn film, and but I've never seen the second and the third one. So as you can see, it's got there's the three, and then you got like a booklet inside, and you got a poster. And the first, the first one is on 4K. So yeah, and the other two are in Blu-ray. So, so yeah, that's that's it. Children in the corn, box it. So that's it. I'll show you them back at the back of all the features. Pause if you want to. So there you go, that's all my new pickups over the past few weeks and I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you soon with a new video. I'll try and update with, you know, with new videos when I can. Works in it. um, it's going to be quite busy over the next few weeks of James Bond coming out. Um, so work's going to be really busy. So, But anyway, I'll see you soon with, with a new video and uh, take care. Bye.